you're on. I am on. That's wonderful. Hi, everyone. We are uh, we are teaching today in IQ Designer like the coolest thing in the whole wide world, right? So this is embossed letters, and we did this about two years ago. And I'm looking at the directions today, and my directions were wrong from from. Uh, 4 4 2022 disregard those uh, we are going to put out uh, new directions uh, we already emailed them to, to Darlene but we still found a couple mistakes so we're going over it again and uh, PJ promises he's not going to leave here today until he gets a copy of the directions sent to Darlene so she can post them on our Facebook group page. So, but this is an embossed letter. It's really fun. Um, I do want to show you, I did it in the stippling, but after I did it, people did it using their fancy fill stitches and they turned out great. So I thought the fancy fill stitches uh, were not close enough together to hold down all the loops of the towel. So, but they did it and it worked. So we're gonna play with that too. So I'll show you what step. And even someone put on our Facebook page, can you go uh, all the way and make this and then go back and change the fancy fill. And yes, you can. So I, you have to remind me, PJ, to show them how to do that. But really, all you do is in embroidery, you delete the fancy fill off, then you go add IQ Designer and add a fancy fill. So we're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in stippling, and then we're gonna change it to one of our beautiful fancy fills right okay so this is you know and i was wondering why i really didn't see very many samples of this um and because it was such a neat technique well it was my fault i had written the directions wrong so and i bet people got to those steps and went what i just did that why am i doing it again so anyhow we're going to correct that today and you will all be embossing towels uh like crazy all weekend long <laughs> Okay, all right, so I'm just going to put that over here, and we're going to get started. Okay, so, all right, so this is uh, this is what I did today, and um, but so I'm just going to go home and pretend like I didn't do anything. Home, that, but you know what I have to remember hmm. is, maybe what I should do is go in and delete that. Um, and delete those pictures because I've already done that. Well, you know what? I'm going to do a different shape. I'm going to do a different fancy shape. And, and so ours will be different. So I'm just going to go home. Okay. So I'm at the main screen. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is go into embroidery. So we first have to go into an embroidery and find a letter and then make it a shape. Okay, then we're gonna go and, okay, so we're gonna have the shape of the letter H or, or whatever letter you decide. Actually, a B is good because a B will show you how to do the inside of the letter. Okay, so we need to do that, make the shape. Then we need to go into IQ Designer and make these shapes. Okay, so we, we're gonna have a B with two, two frames around it. One a little bit bigger than the other. Okay, so now I've got my shape. What do I need to do first? The first thing I need to do is flatten this, and a velour towel works the prettiest. And I think we got these at Kohl's. So Kohl's had really nice, and of course Macy's does. Um, I don't, and I think um, Target now has some really nice velour towels. So you want it really soft. PJ, hand me those two towels there. And so they, uh, they're actually better. Like you can see, they're, they're more velour. So look for the velour towels. I, I, at least I think they, they turn out better. But, you know, you want them thick, a thick towel, so that when you do flatten it, you really see the embossing. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go in and emboss. So we're going to flatten the loops of the towels with our fancy fill stitch. Then we need to add and go in and add the satin stitch around both of the frames and around the letter. Okay, so we, we have to do all these steps um, separately 
because if we put this all in at once, even though we put it in in the right order that we want it to sew out, the machine will decide what the right order is and it won't, it won't turn out right. So that's why we have to do it step at a time, go all the way into embroidery and then add IQ designer and add the next step and the next step. Okay, so hopefully you understand that, and, and we're going to get a started. Card on the side there. Oh yeah. Oh, and I have to say hi to my good friend Anne Marie Leiden. Um, so Anne Marie, we think about you every day. Your husband was here yesterday, and uh, she was in a terrible, terrible, terrible accident. Uh, but she, you know what she told me? She said that the fact she was. Um, planning her next sewing projects and she was thinking of her sewing machine and where she wanted to put it once she got out of the hospital so she told me she knew she wasn't going to die because she was thinking about sewing so it, it's going to pull you through and the dream of of working on your sewing machine we're going to get you sewing again and as soon as you know whatever you need I, I told your husband whatever he needs us to do we will do so uh, she took good care of us brought us food <laughs> like but she brought us charcuterie boards Ooh. yeah really 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 good she uh, she is a very unbelievable cook and she's a food stylist uh, so she styles, so she sets up the food for f photographers who make restaurant menus. So really cool job, really, really. So I always thought that was just the neatest. And every time she was in the store, I would tell people what she did for a living because that's really cool. You know, she would move the peas exactly to the right spot, the drip of the ice cream right to the right spot. Yeah, it's really, really cool. So Anne-Marie, honestly, we think of you every single day and, and we're praying for you, and you're going to get out of there, and you're going to go home and sit at your sewing machine, right? Okay, so, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we need to get the letter. So we're going to go into embroidery, and I have my mouse, which I, I like using so much better. And is everything okay, PJ? Because, you know, sometimes my screen Let's has see. fingerprints all over it. Yeah. Like, I feel like I, ha I should wipe it off every once in a while, so... Okay. Yeah, there's a little reflection. I think it's okay, though. You think it's okay? Yeah. Yeah. Is that me? I should wear black. You know that, right? Black doesn't reflect. So mm -hmm. if I stand over here, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. it's all batting and stuff on the on the uh, table here. How about park yourself in front of the, the screen more? And maybe, yeah. maybe you'll be blocking some of the things that are yeah, kind of distracting. Yeah, but I shouldn't wear such fancy tops, should I? That's Is okay. It's a nice, it's a nice top. <laughs> okay. Is it in the background too much? No, I think you're okay. Okay. I forget about okay. this, that you have the camera and I can sit anywhere I want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go into embroidery because we need to get our letter. So embroidery. And nothing happened. Embroidery again. And <laughs> nothing happened. So what am I doing wrong? Nothing is happening. So you know what I'm going to do? I've never had this happen before. But all I'm going to do is turn off the machine and turn it on again. Turn it off and turn it on again. Just like rebooting your computer, you got to reboot your sewing machine every once in a while. And every time you reboot it, it's going to do the calibration of the embroidery unit. So there's no getting around that. So I'm just going to touch my screen to wake it up. Make sure my mouse is working. It is. Okay, then. Okay. Please wait a while. So it's going to do the calibration. And it's thinking the circle's going around. There we go. Okay. And then, so now we're going to start at the very beginning. Embroidery, menu number four, which is your large letters. So menu four. And I know that O3 works really good. Uh, what do we have? We have Greek letters. This, this is really cute too, but it you'd have to be careful of what frame you put around these. So let's do the easy one. Let's go O3, and I call them large varsity letters. So there they are. And I want to pick a letter that has both inside and outside. So a B does. Like if I would pick an H, 
that wouldn't show you how to do the inside. So I'm going to pick a B again. Maybe I should pick a different letter that I've never done before. So, I mean, we could do an A. Let's just do an A. Oop, I pressed the wrong button. So we're going back to 03, and let's go the letter A. Letter A, and then set. Press edit. Click on the flower. So click on the flower and it is going to turn that into a shape. Now I can see the dark line around it, but I don't see that dark line inside. So that's reminding me to click inside on. Okay, inside on, then memory. Okay, so it's telling me recall from IQ Designer stamp pattern list. So I guess this flower means stamp pattern. So, okay. Now I'm going to go home. I don't need to be embroidery in it anymore. So home up in the upper right hand corner. Then okay. I just bought a car and my screen has a home key. It goes home and I wanted to tell the guy, oh, we have a home button on our sewing machines, but I just knew he wouldn't understand. Right? Did, you, did you ask him if it had IQ designer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. That would be kind of fun if a car was built with IQ designers because you could be the passenger on a long road trip and you could be doing IQ designer. Yeah, see, they're missing out. They would, we would, we would, every one of us would go buy that car, wouldn't we? Okay, so here I'm, I was home, okay, click on IQ Designer, Shapes. So they called that stamp key. So Shapes, and I say pick a fancy frame. Okay, so I did this one on my towel. I went to another menu so that you've got the first menu, second one, and it kind of looks like a flag. And I did this one earlier, so I don't want to do that one. So let's do 05. I want to pick something that is kind of square, you know. So if I try a heart, I was going to try a heart. You can. You can definitely. But um, let's go with something square for now. So I'm going to pick 05 on the close shapes menu and then okay size so i was just for the size what size do i want on my hand towel and i kind of folded the hand towel and i thought i don't want anything that is bigger than uh four and three quarter by four and three quarter so um, if I was doing a bath towel, I could go bigger. You know, you decide what size you want to make it. So uh, first I'm going to go to, so I'm in size. And my first block, I'm going to make that one 3.75 by 3.75. So I'm going to click on the keypad, then 3.75 set, and then 3.75. 7, 5, set. So you could use your arrow buttons or you could use your keypad on your Solaris Vision. Then OK. Then copy. Size. So I'm going to go down into size and I want to make this second one an inch bigger because I want a half inch in between uh, to, for the fuzz. Okay, so the, I'm going to grab my towel again just to show you. Oop. Okay, there it is. Okay, so. So here it is. So I wanted the letter to be fuzzy and I wanted the inside of the two frames to be fuzzy. And I just decided that a half inch between, I wouldn't want it any smaller than that. You might want it bigger. So you'll decide, but for now, I'm just going to make the outside one uh, one, in, one full inch bigger. So it's really a half inch all the way around bigger. Okay, so, so I'm in size now, and I'm going to go to 4.75 by 4.75. 4.75 set and 4.75 set. Okay, now what is wrong with this? It's not in center. So I click on OK. I click on size again, then center. So we go down to the move buttons and click the center one. That will put it in the center. 
So now I am centered. Then OK. Shapes. So click on your Shapes button, which is the circle and the square. Shapes. I want to pull up that letter. So the flower. And here's my letter, the A. OK. Size. Shrink it down until you like what you see. So I'm going to use my four arrow button, four arrows pointing in, and just shrink it. I want space all around. So there. And here this time, I made my letter 2.87 by 2.11, but really it depends on the letter. So you want room around it so that it can, that it can be enough stippling. So if this is too big, so let's just kind of make it bigger, then it's going to have such little stippling. Oh, this is even touching. So that won't work. You need space. So depending on the letter, so I'm looking at it and I want a good amount. So I'm at now I'm at 2.97 by 2.18. I'm seeing a good amount of space above. I'm looking below. I'm seeing a good. So you want space above and below. OK, so then OK. Now I need this. So memory save on the machine. Now I'm a little bit worried about it because I only have my red block around the A. So I'm going to click outside the A so there's nothing is selected. And I'm going to click on memory save on the machine. All right, now, okay, so all I want to put on next is stippling. I don't want to put the satin stitch in. I just want to do the stippling because I wanted to do the stippling first. And if I put the satin stitch and the stippling in together, it may sew out the satin stitch and then put the stippling afterwards and then it's not going to look good. So all I want is the stippling. So I need to tell it I don't want it to sew any of these lines. Now this red plus sign showing me center is in my way. I'm going to go up to settings up on the top bar. It looks like a piece of paper. Settings and I'm going to go to grid right there on page 8 of 12 grid and I'm going to pick the one that has nothing in it. So no plus sign and then OK. So now that's gone and I can see better. OK, so now I'm going to go to line properties. I need to tell it what I want it to do with those lines. So line properties, no sew. I don't want it to sew those lines. No sew, OK. And then line bucket and click on all three lines. One, Two, and it's going to go from black to gray, so it's going to be hard to see. It looks like I already did that. Let's check the inside. And see how I got the error message? It's saying it already did it. But I like to double check. Oh, error message, error message. I'm good. I'm just double checking that I did all of them. So on this one, there's going to be four lines that I'm going to tell it no so. I know it's going to no so because I can see that no so symbol up in the box up above. All right. Now, uh, I am going to, uh, okay, so zoom. Okay, so I had you zoom in to 200% to make sure that you could see. So. Zoom in to 200% and then we touched all the lines. Now fill properties. So I'm going to go down to the piece of paper that has the filled in square behind it. Okay, click on that one. Fill properties and I like stippling because I can really fill it in. I can make those stippling stitches like micro stippling. Remember we did that on the heart pillow and I just felt like I really wanted those loops so the towels held down and sometimes my fancy fill stitches don't go small enough but we're going to try it out. So stippling, red, it's already selected, then OK, fill bucket. And we are going to fill the area in between the letter and the first frame. So right here. And then fill inside your letter if needed. So if you have one of those letters, like B and A, that has um, an area inside, you want to make sure that you fill that. Next. Click on Next in the lower 
left lower right hand corner link them together so look how terrible it looks right now so let's i'm going to zoom in to 200 again so you can see it even better so we're going to link them together because i want it to change all of them at once link it together spacing so i'm going to click the uh, first one is uh, spacing that I change and it's the one that starts out at 0 0.200 0 0.200 and I'm gonna I put 080 but it really is down as far as it can go so the lowest it can go is 0 0.080 so go down as low as it will go and then okay and we'll see it transform okay that's better now wait a minute how come there's nothing inside the A? That's probably because it's too small. <gasps> what are we going to do? Well, you know what? I bet the A will so I think it's going to look fine. So we're not going to worry. Okay. But now we're going to go to run pitch. I still am linked together. Run pitch is another name for stitch length. And it is this top number, which is 0 0.080. Okay. So I'm going to really zoom in. So I'm going to go to 400. So we, see how jagged the line is? It isn't rounded. So we're going to go 0 0.80 and we're going to go down to, and I wasn't sure how far down to go uh, because it's in inches. And so 0 0.60 doesn't really make any sense to me. So if you want to, Go up to your settings button at the top of the page. It looks like a piece of paper and go uh, page nine of 12 and go from inches down to millimeters. I think we're all used to seeing our stitch length in millimeters. So here I had set it at 1.5. Let's take a look at it. So let's press OK. It, it's a little rounder. I'm, a little, I'm gonna go down to 1.4 and see if it's better. So I'm, I'm still, it's, it's better than it was. So, and remember, I'm zoomed way in, so we're probably gonna be okay. I still don't know why it isn't doing anything in there. But we're gonna, you, we're gonna see how it works. Why not do stippling between the frames at the same time? Okay, the, okay, where? Okay, hmm. I leave that fuzzy. Okay, you could do that if you wanted, but see, in between the frames, I leave that fuzzy. I like that look. Mm -hmm. So if I flatten that, you could, but it'll look nice, but I kind of liked it better, nothing in because I like mm -hmm. the fuzz. Okay, all right, there we okay. go. Okay, so I'm at, okay, let me make sure. Okay, so spacing run pitch, okay. And so I'm down to 1.4. Let's see if that improves it. You know what? Did you see I that? that? I, saw, I that. saw that. I think there's something in there, and it, I don't know why it isn't showing us. But when I change the stitch length, let's just do that again and go up to 1.5 and watch right here and OK. See, it's in there. I, I don't that. know why it's doing that. Hmm. Oh, wow, it surprises us every time. But you know what? I, I, I'm i going to go down to 1.4. I think I'm okay that short. I, I just didn't want it all the way down to 1. I'm, I'm afraid it'd be too short. So, okay. Now, okay. So, distance. How far away? So, distance, it's at 2 millimeters. And I want it to stipple right up to the line. So I'm going to put it at zero and then, okay, let's see if that changes anything. I wanted to step. Oh, there. Now we see a little bit of stippling. So maybe that was it. The distance. Let, let's see. I'm just going to go down to 1.3. Are you worried about 1.0? Ooh, you know, I just don't want it to take too long to sew. So that hardly changed it. I'm going back to my 1.4. It mm -hmm. probably won't make t any difference. But now at least we see our stippling. And what changed that was the spacing. So, or, or the distance, the distance from the frame. Okay. So now we went down to zero on that. And we press set. Okay. We already have this design saved, so we don't have to worry. We already saved it. So this is like point of no return. If you've never saved it, you better go back and save. So, okay. 
All right, now I want to add my satin stitch around it. So we're going to go to Add, IQ Designer, the memory pocket with the arrow pointing out up at the top, memory pocket with arrow pointing out, select your frame letter, and remember my machine has a million things saved and it's saving things in funny places. So we are going to find, there it is. So it's saving it in the middle, and I never got a chance to call Baby Lock and find out why it's doing that. But, okay, so we are going to click on that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go to Line Properties. Okay. So I'm double-checking PJ. Okay, there we go. So we are going to... This note is just for PJ, so step 88. Okay. So I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so line properties, zigzag, red. I'm doing the whole thing in red. That's fine. So, okay. Line bucket. Click on all the lines to turn them red. I like using red because you can really see the difference between black and red. So lined bucket. And then I clicked on all four lines to turn them red. Next. So remember, I have four here. So I want to link them together. I want them all to be changed at once. If I don't link them, it's only going to change the outside frame because that's what's selected right now. So link them together. Okay. And they're... I'm in millimeter right now. So if you're not in millimeters... Change it, go up to settings up above, click on it, go to page 9 of 12, and I'm already in millimeter, but if you weren't, I want you to go and select millimeters and OK. So, the stitch width is only 2, and you know from doing applique that 2 is not wide enough. And I like it nice and thick, especially on a towel, so I'm going up to 4 millimeters. You can decide what you want to do. But okay. Now you know I like the satin stitch to be really close together. So I'm going to go from 100%. I'm going up to 110. There's no choices here. So look at one, 100 plus. Now it's grayed out. I can't go up any higher. I could make it less dense. I haven't wanted to do that for any one of my projects yet. So 90%. So I'm going to go to 110 and OK. OK. So look, at that's such a small area there. The stippling isn't going to matter. I think that's why it wasn't showing up. So now I pressed OK, then Set, OK. I want to make sure everything's in center. Um, I know now this is something I didn't know two years ago, but when you create everything in IQ Designer, it, uh, it is in center. It's only when you're in editing and embroidery and you make a copy that it is off center. So, but I have you double check that anyhow. So I'm going to have you go into edit, move. You know what? It's better to zoom in. I'm going to go up and zoom in to 400 and I'm looking at it. Now, see, if I had done these in all different colors, but I can look at that real close, and I can see that the straight stitch is going right down the center. You know what? I don't even see a straight stitch. It's hard to see. So maybe it is good that we're going. So we're going to edit, center, select, center, and I just keep going through, select center, select center, until I know for sure. I think there's four different steps. So I want to make sure everything is in the center. Then I say, OK. And then I go to embroidery. And I'm ready to go, right? OK, but I didn't mark my towel where I want it. And this is an important step, marking the towel. So I'm going to get my felt tip pen. And I'm going to get my towel. And I decided I wanted to do it on white. Okay, so when I fold my towels, okay, I want it like that. Okay. And then I like folding it. All right. And then if I want to put it on the countertop, if I want to hang it, 
I want to hang it like that. But if you want to put it on the countertop, I like to fold it again. And so I don't want the H to be up here. So I want it to be in the center. So I'll measure my towel, but you could just do it by folding if you want. I'm in a hurry, but normally I would, I would measure it and then divide it, but I'm just gonna fold it and fold it again. And I'm kind of fumbling with it because I don't have a folder right, so I'm gonna put it in my lap. Fold it. And fold it again. So I want, this is how I want it to look on my counter. Um, and then when I unfold it and I hang it up, so it'll be, so I don't want it up here. So I don't want it on this folded side, okay? Because then my embroidery will be way up there and that won't look right. So I'll fold it again. And then I'm going to just measure from here. And I've got my Gloria Horn Sewing Studio Ruler, which we are going to get more of these. I already ordered them. <laughs> so, okay. So, okay. So this is, um, so it's a six inch ruler. It's a six inch by two and a half. So I'm going to measure the distance and it is going. So let me make sure I'm doing this right. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it is like five and a half inches. So here's me. This is how I would do it. I would go and, okay, so I'm five and a half inches. So I'm going to move in two and a quarter. So there I'm at about right, oh no, right here's five and a half. See, rulers get me mixed up. Okay, so I'm at five and a half. So I'm going to mark it at two and three quarter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Boy, that doesn't look right to me, does it? But I guess it's right. Okay. And then same well, thing here. Closer to six inches. Well, six inches wide. Yeah. What if I fold to, it? You go right on that three, because well. Yeah. So if I. It's clo if, closer to three, a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think That's I about marked right. it right? Yeah. That's about right. Yeah. So you could better to measure the whole thing and mark it right. Okay. But I'm in a hurry and I don't want to move to the counter and like here this is I don't want to include the bottom there so let's say that is okay will it be big enough to hold this <gasps> I'm in millimeters I don't know so I'm gonna go up to the settings page page 9 of 12 go from millimeters to inches okay okay so it's gonna be five by five down here so where, so why do I, I th you know, I always tell PJ that I'm tired on these days. So I don't think I want it down that low. So when you fold it on your counter, you're just going to fold it under a little bit. So I want, I'm thinking, I, I'm just going to eye judge it. And I think I, I want it like one inch from the bottom. I think I'm just going to touch that and mark it and there, and then I'm going to move up. So it is five inches tall, and I think I'm just going to mark this at two and a half. So one, two, two and a half is going to be center. Oh, you guys know how to do this. <laughs> I'm having a brain freeze. So if I go, if it is five inches, and I put the, so the center will be at two and a half inches above. So I'm looking there, and my center will be here. And then when I fold, well, we're just going to go with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll need this for positioning in the hoop because I don't want to hoop this. It's too thick. It's too thick to hoop. So I have sew and wash um, in the hoop. Okay. And I am going to position my hoop. Okay, and then I want to base this in. So I'm going to go to layout on my screen and I'm going to press it's the button with the flower. So press the button with the flower and, uh, and, and I'm ready to go. So, okay, so it's going to baste it in and I'm going to position it in the hoop. I'm going to press layout so you can see the steps now. So layout, first thing that it's going to do is baste it in. I have white thread in. I think I'm okay with that. I'm going to want to take that out. And then the, the next step is going to be the uh, black. Okay, so that's black. The next step is going to be, like if I plus minus down here, we can see them. So the next step is going to be the stippling. And the next step is going to be the satin stitching. Okay, so I'm going to move 
back up to the my basting because I don't want to hoop it. And I did not draw my lines. I think I am better do that. I'm just going to wing it, but you would do it the right way. Okay. I know that I got to start up in my game because I said I do things so crazy that um, I'm afraid I'm going to lose viewers. They're going to say, but I think I think people like our projects enough that mm -hmm. they're going to come back, right? Yeah, yeah. They get the idea. But they do. They've all. They're all experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Worth, so. We've got already some good ideas in the. Oh really? Do you? Set. Oh good. The, the inside of the A looks like that. Um, is just completely closing that hole. Yes. Uh huh. So if I went so, with a oh, you know, okay, so that they probably want me to do that in a narrower satin, a narrower stitch. satin stitch. Yeah. And then the but, the corners look at the bottom uh, left and right of the A, they're almost touching the Yes, uh, I should have moved it up. Uh -huh. Should I do a redo? Because look at we thought, but because of my width of my satin stitch. Okay, can we go back? It's so quick to go back in to, and yeah. fix it. Let's just go back. Let's go back here. Okay, we already have the design. Um, no, we don't because we, we need the A smaller. Okay, so we're going to pull out my directions again, and we're going to redo. We're going to do a redo. Okay, and that is because, now I don't have a zoom button here. So let's go, okay, let's return. And so what they're seeing, I'm going to zoom in. I'm in uh, the editing mode. I'm going to go to 400%. They don't like that this is touching. And, and even, <coughs> oh, I better get a drink of water. I'm just going to So even that's rounded. But Joni always says, you're doing it on a towel. And, and. It's, um, you're zoomed in at 400%, so, but I, I kind of, I'm thinking, are they thinking the solution will be that if I go to a narrower width? Let's yeah. try it. Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning again, and this time we can go faster. So, okay. I didn't save this one because we don't like it. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to go back to step one, embroidery. Menu for the large letters, large varsity letters, which is 03. Select your initial. Let's stay with the A, okay? Stay with the A. Select your initial. Uh, set it. Edit. Press on edit. Press the flower button. There it is. Inside on. So this is where we're running into trouble, there. Now, you know what, I'm wondering if they'd say, draw it yourself, because I'm getting, it looks like, you know, it's rounded a little bit. You know what, we're thinking too hard. It's gonna turn out good. Yeah. It is, okay, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, inside on, and then memory. That saves it in that menu in IQ Designer. OK. Press Home. OK. IQ Designer. We're going to go into IQ Designer now. The Shapes. Look for a fancy frame. Let's go get that same one, because that one's the one giving us trouble. OK, look for the fancy frame, which I was in this second menu, which they call it the Closed Shapes menu. And there it is. And then, OK, size. So let's go to size. And I went 3.75 by 3.75. We, we could make that a little bit bigger, right? Because I am working with, I have a 5 by 7 frame. And you know I like that quarter inch. We better just make the A smaller. because. But if I had a 6 by 6 hoop, I could have gone bigger. Or an 8 by 8 hoop. That's why you all have to have a 6 by 6 and an 8 by 8. But is it not about how you fold your towel, though? Yeah. So you don't want it to be yes. too big that it doesn't fold. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. It would fold in. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. The fold of the towel. So that's why the hand towel, yeah, I do want to keep it small. All right, so here I'm going to go into the size, and we're, we're going to stick with my size. 3.75, set, 3.75, 
set, then OK, then copy. So right down below rotate is the copy button, size, and we're going to make that one one inch bigger. So go up to your keypad or use your arrows and then go 4.75, set, and 4.75, set. Okay, now, okay, I need to center it. So I need to go back into size and press the centering button. So size, okay, size, then center, then okay. I need to pull in my A shape. So press your shapes button. So the circle and the square, select your letter. So I'm first the flower and my letter will be in there. Okay, then size, shrink it down until you like what you see. So I'm just pressing my button with the four arrows pointing in, and I need to make that a little smaller. Okay, so this time, do you think it's going to work? This time, I do have it at 2.76 by 2.03. But, and you know I like that four stitch width, but maybe I could do my letter, the whole letter, it narrower than four. Let's do it. Let's do them separate this time. Okay, so here, all right, so I like what I see. I'm, I'm thinking maybe even a little smaller. Let's go a little smaller. So now I'm at 2.70 by 1.99, every letter will be different, you know? So you're just, you keep looking and saying, do I have enough distance? Okay, then okay, memory, save on the machine. So this is our new letter A. And I have an old letter A, so we're gonna have to look at them and find the most recent one. Okay, so memory, save on the machine, Line properties, so we're going to do the same thing and tell it no so, okay, C line bucket, and click on the lines to make it no so. So it already put the letter as no so. So, um, and like I said, I, I sometimes I double check that I got it because going from black to gray is really hard to see. So then, uh, zoom in to 200%, just so you can see better, and, and then we'll touch all the lines to make sure that they're no-so. Fill properties. So we, all, we made the lines no-so, now we can fill it with stippling. So I'm going to go down to fill properties. It's right, it has the filled in square, and it's below the red square and the, the plain fill. So fill properties. Stippling, red, okay, fill bucket, click fill in the area in between the letter and the first frame, and then any area inside. So we're going to click there, okay, and next. Link them all together. And we're gonna go the spacing. So here is spacing. It's the button that starts at 0 .200 and it has like a little arrow inside. And we're gonna bring that down to 0 .080, which is the lowest it will go. Then okay. Then run pitch. So run pitch is at 080, that's stitch length. And in my directions, I went down to 0.64, but I'm going to go down to 0 0.60 and then OK. Now, the next thing you want to change is the distance from the outline. And we, we don't, we want to stipple right up to it. So distance and bring that down to zero and then OK. So we're still not seeing the stippling, are we? I wonder, so maybe let's go down one more. But we're not going to worry about it, right? Okay, then 
set it, add, okay, set, okay, add, IQ designer, memory pocket with the arrow pointing out, up at the top, memory pocket with the arrow pointing out, and then you're going to select your framed letter. So yours will be in the upper left, and you're like me, unless you're like me, and you have a zillion things saved. I just haven't taken the time. Okay, so this first one was, look at I it. can tell you the exact number. Oh, but. I went you, back and looked. <laughs> you did? So it's this 210, isn't That's it? it. Cause that, and Because you can see that the A is smaller. But I was going to go by the numbers. But look at this one is 18AD, ATD, which is, so. ATC, yeah, CD. CD, so the D to 210 is newer. I, yeah, but we're just going to go by the picture so we can see that there's more space. So select it, select our frame, and press OK. Now, line properties. So line properties, that's up above, it looks like a piece of paper. Zigzag. This time, let's do it different than red so we can see those southern lines when we get to embroidery. Okay, so normally I would just press red, but this time I'm going to press blue. So blue, and then OK. Now, we don't want to link them together because we want to use a narrower zigzag. Okay, so I think I, me, I like that thicker zigzag. So I wanna, I'm going to change the outside frame, the inside frame, and the outside of the letter. I'm gonna make those all the same. And then the inner part of the A, I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so you decide what you wanna do. And you know what, it's gonna turn out good no matter what. Okay, so we pick zigzag, okay, then, uh, so I'm going to click on the line bucket, right, line bucket, and click on all the lines to turn them blue. So one, two, three, four. If you're on a letter B, it'll be five lines that you need to change. Just make sure that they're all turned blue. And then next. This time I'm not going to link them together. So you know I like that four millimeter width, especially on a towel. I just wanted to make sure that I could see it. So, all right, so the, I know that this point zero eight zero from doing this so much, I know it's only two, but I still need to go up to settings and change it to millimeters. So settings page nine of 12, go from inches to millimeters, okay. And then we're going to take that up to 4. So click on the 2.0, bring it up to 4. So it's only going to change that one. OK. And I want the density. So the density, I like that 110. OK. So see, I only changed one. So I got to go back and do each one separate. So I'm going to click on my selection arrows up here. S press the I'm going to press the right arrow. Now it's selecting the inner frame. See how the red box, I'm going to zoom in to 200 so you can see that. The red box is now around that inner frame. So I'm going to take that one up to four. This is so much fun. Do you think this is fun, PJ? Like you do? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Because I think it's really fun. Yeah. Tommy thinks it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, so it is fun. Okay, then I want to make sure I bring my density up. And then, okay. Now I decided I wanted the outside of the letter to be four. I may run into trouble, but we're gonna see it here. So we're gonna go, press our selection button. I'm gonna go there. Now it's selecting the outside. And we're gonna bring that one up to four and take a look at it, make sure it's okay. So four, okay. Is it touching? We'll know in a second. It's not touching, nope. so I think I'm okay. Yeah. But if it was touching, right, I, think you I could, could shift go down. A up a little bit. I could. Because look how much space is on top. Oh, and not as much on the bottom. So let's see if I can do that. Okay. So let's go to density, take that up to 110, and okay. Now, can I move it? I can't move it here. I would have to go 
return. You and then I have to do all those settings hmm. again. So I'm going to be happy with what I have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, but you could do that if you want to go back in and do it. Okay. Now I'm going to press my selection key and go the inside. That's it. Two. I still don't think two is big enough. I'm going to go to three. So, okay. Let's take a look at it. Is it going to close it up? We're going to see. Kind of. How about 2.5? What's mm -hmm. everybody saying? Two, but you, you I think 2.5. 2.5. PJ thinks 2.5. We're going with him. Okay? Because then I can see that opening. and that. But still, I want my density up. Let's see if that closes it up too much. Okay. So I'm good. All right. So, all right. Now, then I'm going to press set and okay. So set. Okay, I already saved the outline, so I didn't need to save it there. Set okay, and then I just want to make sure that everything is in the center. So edit, and I'm going to go to size, edit or move, size or move. So they both have the centering button. So move, center, and let's zoom in. Let's look at it, see if we can see, maybe I have to go into 400%. Mm, it's still, I barely, I can hardly see that. So really make sure everything's in the center. So I'm going to go to select center. I bet we won't see anything move. This was just something I was double checking because in the beginning, you know, every once in a while, something wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be in the center. It would be off to the side, but that's because... I when I was in edit mode, I made a copy. I'm not going to touch it here, but I, when I was in edit mode, I made a copy. And you know how that's always offset a little bit. I don't have any stippling on the inside of the A, but I think it's going to look good anyhow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to go to embroidery. But you know what? I haven't saved it. I better go memory, save on the machine, and it will save it as an embroidery design. Now go to embroidery, and I'm ready. And then layout. And baste. I want see there's no basting line around. Press that button. Now there's a basting line and I'm I'm good to go. I'm gonna press layout again so we can see the color changes. Okay, so this time I am going to pos just position my letter in the center so my um Okay, so it's in the center. So that's where I decided I wanted to center it. You know what? And I kind of use the bottom of the hoop. So I'm looking here and it's looking straight. So if I was like that, I'd go, oh, no, it's a little wider on that side. So position it and go really easy on yourself and make it touch, you know, and go from there. But I'm going to just move it up a little. And there's my center. And you can turn on your light at this point. No, let's turn on the projector. So I'm going to turn on the projector, which is that cone. All right, turn that on. It's only going to show us a three inch by six inch area. Okay, but it's going to be in the center. And I can see my letter A. And I'm just going to put there. I'm feeling like that's in my center now. Okay, so I'm good to go. All right, so I'm not going to tape it in place or anything, but I have to turn off the projector. So I am going to press OK, and I'm just going to stay with it, press Start, and baste it in place. No. Nope. You know why I really pressed it baste? So I'm going to cut my thread right now. Okay, I need to go back to the beginning because that's when it ties a knot. So I'm going to press my plus minus button and arrow up so it says one up above. Mine is 7,971 stitches, but up above it, it's on stitch one. That's when I take my water soluble topper and I put that in place. Because I want it to really hold everything down. Make sure that those loops of the towel don't come up in between the satin stitch. Okay, so I'm good now. 
And you could tape this in place. So it's going to tie a knot. Sometimes I feel like it moves too fast when it's doing it. So if, you know, you could always, so see how I'm getting like a bubble of my water-soluble topper? Just, that's just because it's moving too fast on me. So I just want to tell you right here, we can go to, we can slow the speed down. So if we go up to settings, and here I'm in uh, embroidery, maximum embroidery speed. Let's go down to 700, just for now, and we'll change it back again when there's a color change. Okay, so now I'm going to press. Now, the other way to slow it down is if you hold in your start button, and it's going to make it so really slow. Okay, now I'm going to release it, and there it is at 700, because really you're supposed to be holding down your, your water-soluble stabilizer. But now I want to go back to the fast speed. Okay, now I, I am doing this white on white. I did see people do it in different colors, but I feel like the embossing shows up better if you match your thread color to your towel. But here I'm going to go up to settings, and now I'm going to go back up to my high speed, 1,050 stitches per minute, and then I will press start. It's going to do the stippling. Okay, there we go. So it is going to sew for three minutes here. So we could, do you have bargains? You have regular items for them? And do you have bargains? Did you mark down prices? Um, I think so, yes, we have bargains. We do, and you um, and Tommy set the prices? Or should I check it on my we computer? We should check it. <laughs> okay, well here, hand me my computer. All right. I could do it at the exact same time. Tommy, did you? Uh, bargain the prices. prices on some of the things, or were you expecting no, me to do it? I, I didn't. Well, guess I what? I'm better prices. at marking down than Steve is. Oh God. Yeah. So he's like, yes. He. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in while it's sewing. You just watch well, we it sew it for live. a minute. While you're uh, selling it, we yes, can, we I can could. Mark it down. I yeah. can have it right here. Okay. What are you planning on marking down? Well, did you put bargains in there? Yeah, Aurifil thread, little things, yeah. Okay. So so we could we could just show okay, so I'm going into I'm just gonna see what they what prices they have on it. So you guys just keep look at how good it's looking though. See I really like the stippling. But if you so I would like to show them, PJ, after this sews, I would like to show them how to change from stippling to a fancy fill, okay? Okay. So if you, okay, so I am gonna check their prices. Some things we're not allowed to change. Oh, here's, here's a good one. No, we, we were not gonna have very many of these, but I just wanted, you know, it's fun to get bargains, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so, okay. And, and you know the quantities are going to be limited. Uh, I did check limited. those. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you checked the quantities? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to go back to products. Quantities are limited on bargains. Do I need to change numbers, though? Should I randomize the numbers real quick? I guess so. Because if somebody's new, so if you're new here, you want to register. So while you're watching, uh, you want to go down, if you're on Facebook, go down to the comment bar and, oh, get this. I, I could have changed this to monotone. So I want to show them how to do that. So switch back to their screen. Okay. And let's go back to the layout button. And w see this spool of thread with a, you know, dotted line below? Press that. Can you... And then now press your layout, and it's all going to be in one color. So it's not going to stop now for a color change. See, I needed it to stop. Mm, did I? No, I didn't. I want... No, I did need it to stop. Well, I don't know. I went, I'm thinking after the basting, I could have needed it to stop. Okay. But, but anyhow, it's going to sew. It'll sew all the frames now. Um, at once, it won't stop for a color change. So all I'm gonna do is reach over and press start. Okay, and you can see me here in the reflection looking at the prices. <laughs> so, okay, so we're good. Okay, so switch to them watching it. 
And they'll see. Okay, so there. I think it's Steve. Let me check on it. Okay, Steve's gonna do it for you. Okay, if he sees something that we should be marking down. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. We're good. already marked down one. Um, so. Do you, while he's doing that, do you want to show anything on the Altair? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that would be great. Okay. Yes, okay. I do. I do. I think a few people were asking again how to delete things. That's okay. Seems to be a common issue. How to delete? To oh, okay. Okay, so we'll go we in and do that. Altair, okay, so and I, I mean, we have the Destiny Altair instructions here, right? Yep. From. From the like a year week. and a half ago. Yeah. Okay. So because if I made a mistake, I'm gonna have a pink pen. And a black pen and a purple pen. Okay, it's looking pretty good though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna get my I, I can't function without the mouse. I do so much better with the mouse and my mouse pad, which is my wool mat. It works perfect as a mouse pad. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, but guess what? We have different fonts, but I found a, a font on the Altair 2. Okay, so the Meridian 2 and Altair 2, if you have an Altair or Meridian, you'll get this. If you don't have this font, you'll get one um, when you upgrade. So Steve can help you with that upgrade too. Call him. Oh, and then also, PJ, keep in mind, Maria Makins said something about the screen. So we want uh, when we, but I guess the screen were okay. Remember the words were in the way? Hmm. So, oh, yeah. Um, just for the, yeah. yeah. She had something in her cart, so she couldn't see what was on the table. Yeah, because it wouldn't let her swipe it away. She would swipe it away, and then it would come right back again. So just yeah. make sure that whatever they want to see is, like, in the middle. Sure. Yeah, so not at the bottom at all, and not at the very top right. at all. Okay, okay, so we're going to go home, and then, okay. So, first, again, we want to make the shape. So this is Altair, Meridian, and Destiny will all be the same. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So we are going to go to Embroidery. We want the large letters, so it's on Menu 4. Okay. And right, I have 06. No, I think I remember going back in and going to 3 and saying, you know, why don't we use just any letter? Let's do it. Because you know what, one of my favorite fonts is this one. So let's go to 16. So we don't have to start with a large letter. See, okay, now I want, I, I, let's go, uh, let's just do like the letter C, something easy. But what do we do? Because they don't have, okay, we better show them this. Okay, so I'm gonna go with an easy one, okay? So, you know what, I think more block letters will be easier, and that's because we may have to draw the inside. Hmm. So that's what might be hard for me. Okay, so we are going to go, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go home again, and I'm going to pick more of a block letter, because I'm thinking then when I draw the inside, it'll be um, more like a rectangle or a square. So I'm going to go embroidery. And let's go to number yeah. three. We're gonna try this. You could do an you could do an, an I. An I, that would be really easy, but it'd <laughs> be too easy. And then yeah. And then if we went too easy on them, yeah. they'll be like, Whoa, Never learn what anything. do I do? Okay, so like let's go I'm just thinking I'm gonna go up here and we'll do the letter A again. Okay, so A. Okay, set. There it is on my screen. Edit. You have the flower button. Okay, so it's going to do the flower. Okay, now all we have is the distance button. We don't have the inner, so we need to draw that. So I'm going to go memory, and it's going to recall from stamp, so we're okay. So okay, so it saved it. Okay, now we're going to go home and go to IQ Designer. I'm not liking a noise I'm hearing over there. I heard that. Okay. 
Oh, it, it, so my thread must have gotten caught. Okay, so I'm going to re-thread, lift my foot up. So it just sounded like it was pulling. And, okay, I'm going to lift my foot. And did my thread break? I'm going to come around. It did. So I am going to, okay, so I lifted my foot. Okay, so this is when everybody would tell me to cut up here and then pull out down here. I can't even grab the thread. Okay, now let's say you start to pull and it gets caught. Well, I'll manually kind of back it out until, and you'll see. Now, if, it, if it's caught, what I do first is I press the cutter button and that kind of gets it unstuck. If it's stuck inside your machine, press the cutter button, then I could carefully back it out and it comes out. Okay, so just remember that. If you get a thread caught and you don't know where it is, press the cutter button. It seems to uh, get it out of, get it unstuck. So I'm gonna re-thread. Now I can't really tell where, I, I heard it and is that, there's a big loop way back there. So it probably was having trouble way back there so it looked like it was pulling so i'm gonna i'm gonna back it up to where it started so it told me to re-thread oh i didn't press the thread button okay plus minus and i'm gonna go back maybe just go back 10 stitches oh no 100 100 100 oh plus 10 there jump down okay i think i'm good good there Okay, so I'm gonna just start to sew again. There was no reason why it did that. Did I put a new needle in, PJ? Mm -hmm. No, I got to, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it, okay, and we are going to put a new needle in. And do you see any there? I'm gonna check here. No, no. It's Is a it broken empty? one. A broken one. Oh, how could we not have needles? I think I did see them in another drawer. Well, you want to open a new pack? This won't happen to you at home because you will put your, yeah, brand new pack. And most of the time, okay, there we go. Okay, this? we are going to be showing you the five pack of needles. And they, you guys have a really low price on it already. I think so. so. I think so. Steve's working his magic. He's working his magic. Okay. <laughs> we had a really busy day today, and poor Janine didn't feel good, so I sent her home. Deb isn't feeling good, uh, so I almost sent her home. She kept saying, I'm all right, I'm all right, but you know how people say that. Uh, and what, uh, who's normally, normally we have more here. So more people, but you know, a lot of people have family at home. So it was crazy, but that it was wonderful. We love being really, really busy. Uh, actually, Cindy, who used to work here, uh, she is so funny. Uh, but anyhow, uh, somebody came in to look at a machine and, and she talked her out of buying the model that she was gonna buy and got her to buy uh, the Soprano. She was gonna get a Brilliant and she ended up with a Soprano. And I think that was smart of her, you know, that her, the girl's husband was here with her and he was really nice, you know. I like a husband that comes in and wants you know, they want their wives to have everything. And I just think that is so sweet. And um, and he that's what he was like. He wanted her to have everything. So the other two girls bought 100 packs of bobbins. He made her get the 100 packs of bobbins, yes. And now she was, she had been sewing on her grandmother's machine when she walked in order. In fact, I think all three of the girls that we bought the Sopranos today, I think they all were sewing on like their, uh, one girl told me her machine was from 1951. So she's going from a 1951 machine to a Baby Luck Soprano. So uh, they were just dazzled at absolutely everything. Okay, we're going back to the Altair. Okay. Okay, so now you know, and I better bring my papers with me. Okay, so hopefully, so 
Okay. Okay. And then, so all we did is we saved it. We pressed the flower and then we saved it. And it says, okay, to cancel this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're going into IQ Designer. And then uh, we are going to go to the shapes. I'm making sure I have this. Let me stand. Mm. Okay. Shapes. Okay, and I went to the flag. I do love this one right here, though. The flag. See, you have all the same shapes on this machine as we do on the uh, the Solaris. So let's do this one. I really like that one. Okay, and then okay. Size. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go down to size, and we're going to change it to 3.75 by 3.75. So we don't have the keyboard to put it in, but we can, we're going to use our arrow buttons. When I get close, I'm just kind of, oh, I'm almost there. Now see, you don't have to be exactly 3.75 by 3.75. So, okay. Then copy it. So the copy button is down below size. So it's got a, a solid square and a dotted square. So there, see now I have two size. This time I want it one inch bigger. So I'm going to press my button with the four arrows pointing out and I'm looking at these numbers up here and I'm going to stop when it's at 4.75 by 4.75. There I'm 4.72. I'm close. I'm just going to click, click until I get there. Okay. Now look, it's not in the center. So we're going to press the centering button. Okay. We're looking good. Now, okay. Click on the shapes again, go to your flower button, there will be your letter A, OK. Now I'm going to change the size so it's too small. You know, I think I did this before, you know that. So we may, we want to, may want to change this, but let's go to size and we're going to increase the size until we like what we see. But let's zoom in and see how it's all jagged. That's because mm -hmm. I went from a small picture to a big picture. So you do really need to go in. And besides, I want to try out that new font. So we don't want that. It's already selected. We are going to cut that away. Okay. Let's save this. Let's save what we've done so far. So you're going to click on the pocket with the arrow pointing in. Save it on the machine. Okay, now we're going to go home, okay, and we're going to go to embroidery. Let's go back to those big letters. I think that's what was important is you need a big picture and you shrink it down. But I do want to see this new font. So right here, let's pick the letter A. This looks pretty cool too. Okay, and set it, edit. The flower button, they, they, it just forms a shape around it. Okay, memory. There it is, it's gonna be in that flower button. Okay, so okay. All right, now we're gonna go home. I Okay. Go to IQ Designer. Memory pocket with the arrow pointing out. We saved it on the machine. There's our frame set. Now we're going to go back to shapes again. Shapes, the flower button. There's our letter A. I picked it on purpose because like, what do you do? You don't have that inner. So, okay. Too big. Let's shrink it down first. So we're going to go to size and we're going to press our four arrows pointing in. Keep it pro proportionate. And when I like what I see, now like PJ said, at this point, I could raise it up. Mm -hmm. About there, that looks good, right? right? I think it looks good. Okay, now though, I need the inner part. Okay, so okay. All right, I better zoom in. So plus, oh, well, I, all I want is the letter A, so I think I can tell from there. 
okay, I need to draw a line. So I'm going to pick on, pick the drawing tool. But first, let's go line properties because you've different drawings and I don't draw straight lines. Even when I click around, I don't do good, but maybe I would. Let's try that one. Let's try the one that looks like the lightning bolt and you plot points. Now we want a straight line. So we want straight stitch, right? But we can change that later. And we want to keep it black. We're just drawing now. Okay, so there we are. And I'm going to maybe click here and go here. And, oh, okay, go from here to there. I, I released the mouse. I click down again and I'll connect it. Okay, there. Okay, so that's how you draw. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, Are you okay. looking? Is it, uh, we did it. We yes. did it. We're going to be happy yeah. with it. Okay, because mm -hmm. that's the way you got to do it. Now you can erase, like here it's a little thicker there than there, but you can erase and redo as many times as you want mm -hmm. until you get like what you see. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put the arrow pointing in, the pocket with the arrow pointing in, save on the machine. Because that's going to save the whole thing. Let's zoom back down to 100 so you can see. I like what I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I don't want to sew any of that because I want to add the stippling. So we're going to go to Line Properties. Okay, No Sew. Okay, then OK. Line Bucket. We are going to click on all the lines to turn them from black to gray. See, the outside line is already a no-sew, so. so I don't know why, but, well, okay. Yeah, I so, guess I, before this, Susie asks, um, could you stretch the frame at this point, or would you have to go back? Like, if you wanted to make it more vertical. Yeah. So you, you were can, doing an oh, I. But then your, your A would. Your A would also uh, yeah. stretch? Yeah, so I could have done it when I just had the frames. Okay. Because if I go to change the size now, so you want to select the whole thing. So there's select, mm -hmm. and then click and drag a box around the whole thing. Okay, pretend like the A wasn't there. And then you're going to go to size, and you're going to just stretch it bigger. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope... I'm just going to hold it down because then I can go to undo. So mm -hmm. there, Ooh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Looks good. Yeah, it does. So should we stay there? Yeah. But let, let me show them. Let's go, okay. Like, oh, no, I don't like what I did. Press undo. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I don't have a redo, do I? No, I don't have a redo. But let's, okay, but she sees and then, mm -hmm. okay. So there, we better save this. We need this. Okay, so the pocket with the arrow pointing in at the bottom, pocket with, and then save on the machine. Okay, so there we were, we got no sew, and we clicked on the, all the lines and made them no sew. Now we need to add the stippling or, or a fancy fill. Okay, so we are gonna go to the fill properties. So fill properties, stippling, okay, then okay, fill bucket, we're going to click on the area in between the letter and the frame, and then inside the A. All right, and then next, this is where we change the size. So this one was run pitch, stitch length. We're just going to make it a little smaller. But you could change the inches. Oh, look at that. Right next to my Wi-Fi button up here is an uh, exclamation point. That means there's an update available. So you click on that and you can update it. So look for that on your machines. Okay, so there I'm going to set that. And then here, uh, the spacing. So the spacing, remember it's at .200 and I bring that down to the smallest it will go, which is the .080 here and set that and then how close it comes the distance how close it comes to the lines and we want it to come right up to it and then set but nothing changed see on the Solaris it changes right here okay so we are going to go to preview and then 
Okay. Ooh, I did save it, right? Preview and okay. But look at that. I didn't change the inside. Okay. Mm. Cancel. I should have linked, linked it. Them. Okay. Then here. And then now. It looks I'm, like it changed. It, it, no, won't no. till the next page. Yeah. So I'm going to go up here, go to page 8 of 10 and go from inches to millimeter because I think we're all used to get, having our stitches in millimeters. Okay, link them together. So here's run pitch and I went down to like 1.5 and that just made it rounder. 1.5 and set and then the spacing went minus down until it wouldn't let me go any farther. So just two millimeters apart set then the um, how the distance from the line and we want it to go right up to the line set now I go to preview and see remember that was grayed out that's what gave me the mm -hmm. clue so here so here we are and we can see it I think it looks good right okay so we are going to set that Right? Okay. Yes, I have to set it. Okay. Remember, we saved it, so we don't have to save. Now, add IQ Designer. Pocket with the arrow pointing out. We saved it on the machine. There it is. Set. Now, this time, we're going to go to Line Properties. Zigzag. Let's go red. Okay. Line bucket. And we are going to click on the lines to turn them all red. Okay. Next. Right? Next. This is where we change it. So the stitch width. Oh, let's. I, do we want to link them all together? Oh, I guess we can do them separate. I'm going to, let's go to a three. Well, well you know, if, so if I want to link them together, I have to press this link button. I'm going to link them together. And then the stitch width, we're going to go to three this time. Set it. And we'll take it. And the next one, we can, um, we can check it and we can come back if we don't like what we see. All right. And then the density. I like going up to 110, set it, okay, preview, okay, and there it, oh, it's, look mm -hmm. at that, no good, let's return, okay, now we've got them separate, okay, so we're not going to link them together, we were at three there, I think we're good, okay, and press the arrow. Now it's going to change that one. And that one's at three. We're good. Okay. Next one. I think we better go down, right? On the letter. So mm -hmm. let's go down to, I think we're, if we go down to 2.5 on the outside, see my line is too close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's it. You can go back and change it until you like what you see. So Set that. Oh, no, we're going to go to the arrow and get the inner. That's at three. We better take that one down to two. And set. And preview. Okay. See, you can go back and change it. So that's better. There's just a little space. Mm -hmm. Not very much fuzz is going to peek up out of there. So you know where I went wrong? And I'd have to go back and redraw it is I need to draw that triangle smaller, mm -hmm. don't I? Yeah. And then everything would be okay. So you know that. You can go back and redraw. This is an easy project. It really is. But let's go set, okay, and there it is. You're ready to sew. And same thing, you're going to go to embroidery to sew, and then you're going to go to layout, and you're going to pick the button with the flower, that's going to put the basting. So mm -hmm. you can baste down, even, you know, it'll, it'll baste my uh, towel to the stabilizer at the same time that you're basting the water-soluble topper on the top. 
Okay, so let's go. Can we go back to the slurs sure. and show them how to change it? Sure. What we did. Okay. All right. So we already have this one finished, right? Okay, finished embroidery, and it's looking good. So I'll just pull it away. Okay, and it's going to look really nice. Let's say I'd like to see that with a fancy fill. And, and when we did this one before, see see the fuzz is, is so it's going to look good. And and really the satin stitch is holding that down anyhow. So you'll just tear away all your water soluble topper, then you'll dab this with water and it will dissolve away. Okay. So now let's say oh, I really would like to I'm going to go get my mouse though. Okay. Okay, I'll put my mouse pad down. Okay, so okay, and here again, look at that, my mouse isn't working. Yeah, it moved. No. It moved, but I it don't... It moved again. Yeah, you know, it, but I can just press buttons yeah. on the screen. Yep. So, finish embroidering, okay. All right, so I need, so okay, I need to go back to edit. So return, I need to get rid of the stippling, okay? So we are going to select, okay? So here, okay, so we are going to select the stippling. Looks like I got it there, doesn't it? There, no, no, that, okay, that's the big frame. That's the bit basting, there. You know what, let's go here. Let's press the edit button. Let's press that, okay? So I'm pressing it, and then edit. So it has it, it selected it when I pressed it. So when I pressed on that, it selects it. Edit, we are going to get rid of it. So where is my delete? So let's go to edit, right here. There's delete, down here. Oh, not the clock. So delete, okay. Okay, now I don't have any stippling. Now I'm going to go add IQ Designer. I'm going to find my design, which it was in the pocket with the arrow pointing out. Look here, I've got my magnifying glass there. I'm going to find it. There it is. Okay, it was the one with the smaller A. Okay. I don't want to sew the uh, lines, the outlines, so I'm going to go to line properties, no sew, okay, line bucket, and click on all the lines. So on this one, it'll be four. Oh, it's, I guess I guess the letter it already is a no sew. Okay, now fill properties, fill properties. Let's go to fancy fills and select. And, oh, you know, like you, I've seen people do like really fancy ones. So like pick your favorite one, try out different ones. Uh, like even this one I think would be neat. I love that one. Okay. So, okay. I love them all. Can you tell? Okay. And then I got, so I got my fancy fill, red and okay. Now fill bucket, click on the area inside. And inside the A, see how this is going to be hard with my finger. So maybe I would use my stylus. <laughs> so it may be my, um, my new stylus that came with the Solaris Vision. Oh, it doesn't want. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Undo. Let's try again. Zoom in. See, we, we have a better stylus. Can you I... zoom in? Yes. PJ, you're catching on. And now your mouse is working. Okay, now my mouse is working. So we're going to use my mouse. Okay, maybe it just took a second for it to start yeah. working. Yeah. Okay, so there's the bucket. We'll click on the inside. Okay, next. Way too big. So we're going to go from 100% down the smallest it will go, which is usually 50%. Then, okay. But I didn't link it together, did I? Oh, but look at that. It has like one little star in the middle. Maybe I want to keep this one like that. I'm going to zoom in. So see, I just have one star in the middle. I like it. I like the star. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're good. Okay, then, now see, on something like this, 
the, the well, let's say, okay, outline is off. I don't want us to sew the outline. This is, is this one the distance position offset? No, no, there's nothing else to change. And then set it and okay. There it is, but it's in the wrong order. So we are going to go to edit and we are going to change the order. Now look at this. It's not letting me pick it, but I bet cause, why is that? Edit, I'm going to select it. Okay, so I bet I needed to select it, mm -hmm. then edit, then, no, hmm. it's still not letting me. Mm, okay, let's go and select. We may have to call Steve over. Okay, let me see if I so, can Because look at this, if I zoom in, we don't want it in this order because, let's go to 200 so you can see. I don't want it in this order because look at my stitches go over my satin stitch. So there, yeah, I guess, yeah, because like why, what am I doing wrong? I bet somebody on the screen will know what I'm doing wrong. I can't read that far away. Okay, so I know I want to move that. So, okay, is he helping a rescue. customer? Okay, so here I am. Okay. okay, so here I am, and it, it's sewing it out in the wrong order. Mm -hmm. I wanted to sew the stippling before the A. Okay. So I go to edit, and look at it's grayed out. Do I press this button? I always get mixed up about when to press that. Maybe oh, I should. I don't know. I mean, you could just rearrange it just by selecting different, but let's See. check that. Because you, you want them all individually. Yes. So yeah. go uh, reset. Reset, okay. And do, uh, get, click the one next to that. Oh, the, uh, okay, should I go back yeah. that? Click the, the this all, one. that one. Okay, so all separate. Yeah. Okay, Say then, okay. okay. And now no, it's still it's gray. Still why is it gray? Why is it gray? Does anybody know? Is Check. It plus minus. Plus minus. We're not, we're yeah, you could, but we yeah. were hoping. I mean, that's all you would do. I don't know. Somebody knows. Anybody have a suggestion? Go, go to embroidery. Go to embroidery. And then. Go layout. Three, yeah, there is three of them there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take off the basting stitch. Okay. And then. Then go back. Go back. Okay. Return. There. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Because <laughs> the basting stitch has to, it won't let you change it. So oh, we had the basting, stitch, had the basting yep. stitch. I knew Steve would know. Okay. So now I want to make sure. Okay. So I'm going to go press the edit button, select my stippling or my um, fancy fill. Okay. And then go to edit here. This button will change the order. And I want to make it go one before. One before, now it's correct. Okay. So we could have pressed the plus minus, just like someone suggested, but you know, you, you can do it, so we might as well learn how to do it. Okay, then remember we're gonna go all the way into embroidery, and we are going to press your layout button and baste. Okay, but aren't you worried that it's it's gonna it's not going to fill in and the fuzz is going to go in between. So maybe that one isn't a good one. So you try them out until it looks like it's more filled in. So that's why I went with stippling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what could you okay. like make it more dense so that the... Wouldn't let me go smaller. No, wouldn't let mm -mm. You go smaller. I went to 50%. Yeah. So... Let's just go, we could, we could just go back again, but I think we just try again until, and then let us know, post pictures and let us know what fancy fill does hold it down. Um, you could run this one again and offset it. So you could put two fancy fills in, okay? So how about, let's return. Okay, let's add. Okay, I don't know, really know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Add IQ Designer. We are going to get our shape again. So go to the shape. Go to the flower. There's our letter. No, no, no. No. Cancel. Pocket with the arrow pointing out. Find. 
our letter with the frames around it. Okay. And then we are going to do the same thing. We're going to go to line, uh, line properties, no so, okay. Make sure that they're all no so. Double check, all no so, right? Does it look like I pressed it? Wait a minute, I don't have the bucket pressed. So line bucket, now do it again. Oop. Get that there, there. It's e better if you zoom in. It's easier to press. Okay, so now fill properties. Okay, so fill properties. Let's go select that same one. Okay, if, if I don't figure it out here, I'll show it next week. Let's go pick the same one. And then okay. And then red and okay. Fill bucket. Fill in, fill in, next, and there's that offset button, offset, so, and I really don't know how much to offset it, but let's offset it by two and a half millimeters, and let's offset this two and a half millimeters, I'm just taking a guess here, okay. Then bring the size all the way down to 50%. Okay. Set it. Okay. And so I offset it. it. Looks like I didn't offset it enough, but see it sewed it again. And that's gonna fill it in more. Mm -hmm. So if you do a fancy fill, you're gonna have to do more steps, but maybe I should have offset it by 0.5 instead of point uh point two five mm -hmm. so you get it right yeah okay let's show them stuff should i come let's up here let's show them stuff and, and steve put prices in i have no idea what he did i have no idea what steve did so but we do want to show them the iq designer book and i have to tell you this is my copy and this is how much i've worked it it's my corners are all because i've learned so much from this book so if you don't have this book yet you got to get it it is it is really good it's um there's 21 different projects and they they show you pouches but what you really it's the techniques you're learning so each one of them has a certain technique that, uh, and I have a feeling, I didn't get to ask the educators, but it start techniques use. Line and region fill using built-in shapes. Open and close drawing tools. So every one of the projects teaches you one of the techniques in IQ Designer. So this book, you invested in a wonderful book. I think it's expensive because they don't print up like 500,000 copies like like book companies do when they print bestsellers, you know, they might only print a thousand at a time. And so that's why it's expensive. So, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. And, and uh, what did someone say? To, uh, she's making 2024 20, the year that she is worth it. And so she's buying things that she always wanted. So I'm just going to get a drink of water and then we'll get started. Okay, now it looks like, oh, okay, it's a bargain item next. Right there. Oh, these, okay, and these are really pretty, and these are, so it's sewing-related little pocket notebooks. Look at how pretty this is. You know what? These would make a perfect valentine for a sewer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, so... so these are really pretty. Oh, yeah. so we so we moved our overhead camera. Okay, as long as you I tell mean, me where you want me to put let's it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll see, and I can move it to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, when we get in our new place. Let's see. I think like yeah, right there. If you could put it right in that. Oh, here. Sorry. Right there. There. Perfect. Whoop. 
I'll get used to it. So yeah, bring it I'll up. I'll fix yeah. the camera. We re-angled yeah. our okay. table. When I make with my hands, I give oh my heart. And that's down in shipping. They never heard of anybody say give oh my heart. They thought it was hilarious. I said that's kind of an old world way of talking. And these are vintage scissors and everything. So look at how pretty this is. I mean, it's probably sold out already. Yep. But yeah, but there's there's four different ones. If, if I can get more, I'll try. Make sure that you, if you leave it on wait list, okay? And, um, cause some people put it in their carts and like, like the very next day, see, that's why we're asking people to, especially if you think, have things in your cart that you're not sure you want, at least go through and take out the things that you don't want, because then that makes that item open for someone else to buy. Um, so it's like, we don't do like, I, I, I order clothing online. I put things in my cart. I go back two days later and it'll say this item is not available because that's a button we could press uh, that says the first person to pay for it gets it. But PJ and Steve and Tommy don't want to do that because they said that we have some you know wonderful customers of ours that are really slow in, in placing the order. And that's just because they want to think about it or they're just not as comfortable on a computer. And that would, that would be mean to them, right? Mm -hmm. And so it just after the show is over, if you would just at least take out the items you do not want, and then that makes them open for someone else. So we'd appreciate it. So, okay. All right. What do you have next? Um, do you want to talk about the stabilizer? A few people were asking her, what yes. did you use to... Yes. So the stabilizer, so you have the rolls over sure. there. Sure, yeah. So sew and um, wash, because I don't like to give a gift, or I don't like it for my own use. I like sew and wash on the back of towels. Towels are pretty stable on their own, so I put sew and wash underneath, because it'll wash away. I don't want medium weight tear away behind my monogram towel. I don't want to give a gift that has it in there. I don't want to put the no-show cutaway in there permanently. It just isn't pretty. So I use, I use sew and wash. So it comes in two different sizes, okay? So if you're gonna be doing this a lot and if you like making lace things, so we use sew and wash for lace, and we also use it on anything that we don't want the stabilizer to show. So if you have a white blouse and you are embroidering on the white blouse, if you use a medium weight tear away, it's going to show from the outside. You have to pick away every single little piece. So anytime something is see-through, I use sew and wash. Anytime I don't want the stabilizer uh, to be on the back, I want to get rid of it before I give it as a gift. I mean, a set of towels monogram is a perfect uh, bridal shower gift, right? So it comes in two different sizes. Ten so yard I, roll is the first. Which one? Oh, the ten yard roll. So yeah. this one is first. So uh, this one is twenty inches by ten yards. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is the exquisite brand, and we love it. It works really, really good. We love it. Their pricing too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, other brands have it, but it, and it's the exact same thing, and uh, but it's always exquisite is lower. So we, we stick with them. We love their products. Okay. Then the other size, if you really want to get a good amount, 20 inch by 25 yards on this one. Now, when I pulled out our open roll of the sewing wash, now, it wasn't bad, but it looked like maybe water had dripped on it, and, and I was able to pull it apart. But just be careful where you store these, that you don't drip water on it, because then it will dissolve away. So that's it. To get rid of it, you just tear away as much as you can. And then I, you know, I don't really want to wash the towels before I give them, but I'll dab it. I'll just keep dabbing it. Uh, it it's kind of stiff, but as soon as they wash it once, it'll all wash away. So... This is a stabilizer we've always used. Okay, then the other, so yeah, I'll just lay them. these aside. Okay, you wanna take them there? Yeah, sure. Okay, and then you'll click on the next one. Okay, so this is Kimberbell's brand of wash away embroidery stabilizer. This is their 20 inch by 10 yard. And we have customers that 
you know, Kimberbell is quality and they trust Kimberbell, so they always buy Kimberbell products. So mm -hmm. this is one is the 20 inch by 10 yard. Okay, now look at this. This would be great. This next one would be really good. Okay, go to the next one, PJ. This is the wash away sticky. I wasn't sure whether this was made. So you would put this in your hoop. Um, what I like to do is I hoop it uh, with the paper side up. Then I score it because I don't like getting my hoop all sticky. I score it and I tear away and then this will be sticky. So you don't even have to baste your towel in place. Or remember I was saying that you could tape your towel or tape the, uh, so you don't have to get your hand so close. So this is, is sticky. This is sticky stabilizer. So I would, have, you'd have the, they call it sticky backed, but it's the sticky side faces up. You can lay your towel on it, forget about it. Doesn't matter if the hoop moves, that towel's going to move with it. So this is really nice. So this is a 12 inch by five yards. Okay. And it's from Kimberbell. So it's good quality. Now this, we, we just got these in. These are the wash away pre-cuts. So this is wash away, it's not the sticky, but it's the wash away pre-cuts, 10 inch by 12 inch. So let me get my, I'm gonna get my five by seven hoop here. We'll pop it out. But remember I told you that I always get all the hoops that like people trade in machines and um, so my biggest hoop is warped because uh, somebody stored it and tightened it really tight so that it was um, bowed. And per it, so my biggest hoop here is for me to use because Steve, when, she sold, when he sold that um, pre-owned machine, if he sees anything wrong like a bowed hoop, he'll put a brand new one with in it. And, but he left me the bold one. He probably meant to bring me a brand new one, but you know, who's gonna remember that? So I also have this, I, I just wanted to warn you about this. You can't tighten your screws so tight. Oh, now you gotta, do you think, you think I could put it over here so I could show them what happened? Sure. So this one must have been another traded in hoop. Let's okay. see, I think I can use the other camera Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's try this camera. Okay. okay so what are you right doing? here. I just want them to look here. There is no screw to lighten, to uh, tighten or loosen the hoop. That's because whoever had this one tightened it so tight that she broke the screw. I mean, that is really tight. So you don't you don't have to screw it in that tight. So I just wanted to warn you that. And I will go. I'll get. I'll get new hoops now that I know I have, um, I, I actually, so I have this one and look at this. This other one for the Altair Meridian, this one also. Same thing. Yeah. So the, it's just, they tightened it too tight. Mm -hmm. So they had it really tight tightened. and they probably tried to push really hard and it ended up, so don't, you don't have to crank that screw so tight same thing your needle screw you don't want to tighten that like, really yank on it it's very rare this is very very rare that this happens um but you can also break off your needle screw and i don't know how they repair that one so okay all right how about needles next since we told you sure. i told you the price that he has on these this is the 9014 embroidery needles and so it, it is five packages of 9014 embroidery needles for the price you see in the bubble. So, so that each package has six needles in it. It is, I, this is the one I put in all the time. Cause you know, look what I'm doing here. I'm sewing through a towel, a couple layers of stabilizer. Uh, so I like having a nice strong needle. Um, many of the items that we make today are uh, in the hoop design, sewing through zippers, sewing through batting and four layers of fabric. So that's why I like, I, I just put in the 9014 and I never run into trouble. Like it's never too big for what I'm doing. Now Mary Lou, she likes using a, a finer needle on some projects. Maybe it's just what I, what I end up making is, is this is the perfect needle for it. Okay. And then 
Okay, this is the water soluble topping. So you tell me if I've got it. So this is 12 inch by 10 yard roll. Okay, and it. Um, here there. you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait there, water soluble. There you go. You there found it. it. Is. Okay. okay, so water soluble topping. And you know what I love about Exquisite is that they are marked. So you're never guessing at what is on here. You know, same thing, the sew and wash looks like no show. So on the end of your, um, end of your roll, it'll say sew and wash, no question. No having to test it to see if it dissolves away. So this is uh, 12 inch by 10 yards. This will last you a long time, okay? Okay, what do you wanna do, bargains? Or? Yeah, do, do you, yeah. They like bargains. Let's see, I think these, Steve marked them down, so I don't even know how. Yeah, you know what, the, we, I think we ended up selling these last night. So I would take that out. Okay. I think, yeah. Oh, look at this. How much did you mark this down to? Um, we'll what, see. Okay, so that's the necessities? Yes, this is RFL, and it is four spools. $38.95. Okay, so RFL is now suggested retail. Oh, PJ, I might need you to get this out of here. Here. I think it slides. Oh, here we go. Okay, maybe there. Okay, I wanted to show the colors. Is it sealed? They're sealed and triple sealed and sealed again. Okay, but I got to show them the colors. This is great. These each are... Uh, fifteen ninety nine now, and so thirty eight ninety five. That's less than ten dollars a spool. Grab this. So you get white. You get uh, like an ivory, like a real light beige. You get gray and black. Necessities. These are necessities. Buying this will hook you on RFL thread. We absolutely love it. Uh, but you know, when you go to buy your replacement spools, it is going. It's going to be a lot, lot more. But grab this. I don't know how many of these we had. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't none now. Don't yes. Know. So yeah. this is, you know, these bargains are the ones that if you decide you're not buying, but everybody raves about you'd be a fool to. If you got it in your cart, you better buy it because you will never see this price again. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, now here's another one. Okay, this one, it's called, it's black and white. Let's see what's in here. Oops. Oh, this is great. Okay, look at this. This one has, oh, I'm just going to rip it. Somebody's going to get a rip box because we will sell this to somebody. We're not opening the spool, but you get a white and then a medium gray and a black. So this is, and how much are these? Um, it says $28.95. Yeah, see, you can't beat this. Less than $10 a spool. So I hope, I hope everybody gets a box. I don't know how much we had, but we just don't want to count it. And two, we feel like if we give you a deal, you'll come back and watch us every time. So every once in a while we'd kind of throw a really good deal at you because we said that will make you a loyal customer because you'll go, oh, I wonder what Gloria has on sale now. So, okay, this is wonderful. This is uh, Baby Locks. It's a assortment of thread. So it's called uh, Baby Locks Sweet Seams. And this goes with, if you bought any oh. of the fabric, this is the thread that goes with the fabric. So let me just tell you, it is, it is quilting thread. Each one of the spools has 440 yards and there are 10 spools. And if you bought the Sweet Seams fabric, this is the thread get, that goes with it. Now it is RFL, Aerofil, A-E-R-O-F-I-L. That is Madeira's brand. And it is a 50 weight thread, just like Aerofil. Mm -hmm. And it is right, it's cotton. It says quilting thread, so usually, okay. Doesn't say collection in French 10, but a bit aerofill, A E R, they're cotton. It's cotton. Really pretty colors. So it goes with. 
So there's lots of teals and, okay, oh, right over here, but we better tote it. Yeah, right there, and let's see, oh yeah, that's perfect there. Oop, that way. Okay, so 10 spools. This would be really nice to have. I don't know what color is hiding under there. It's a gold. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, you got to have this. If you embroider, you have to have this. So what you do, you know how you snip, snip, snip. You got to have a lint remover. And this is just a really good size. The papers peel off so you get, you know, it's just really nice. It fits inside like it'll fit inside my 4x4 four four hoop. It'll sit in, and then you can roll all those fuzzies away that you snipped. That's a really yeah, good deal. Yeah, you need ten, tons of those. Ton one, one for the car, one for... Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, you do. You, he thing? has dogs. You need this. Uh, what, what is this? This is great. They were selling this on, on Facebook, and so I found the source because this is what I run into trouble when I'm changing my sheets is I can't lift the mattress and get the sheet underneath it. So you jam this under, and it lifts it just enough so you can get get your fitted sheet or your, your whatever. So you put it under. They, the hotel workers have these to lift the corners so they can get the sheets under. So this, they were selling it on Facebook, I think, for eighteen ninety five. So how much do you have it for? Five eighty eight. Five eighty eight. Yes. So that would have been a really good stocking stuffer. There was just not enough time to show everything. No. But, oh, wow. Well. Now these. Okay. These. I have, to get, I have to get a bobbin. I'll get a bobbin. And I'll get a spool of thread. Okay. I got to save my spool cap. Make sure I don't lose another one. You know, we got to start selling spool caps again because I know the people that got the, um, you know, the 24-day box, they got four spool caps, but um, there's, one. there's a lot of people that, that didn't get the box. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. So what you do is you put put it down through, oops, put it down through your bobbin. Okay. And then you put it down through your thread and it holds your thread to with it holds your bobbin to the spool of thread that it matches so this is excellent it really is so this is a package of 12 is that what we're selling 15 oh package of 15 okay i would buy two that's what i would do because mm -hmm. you know that's Five. i have a whole bunch of bobbins over here 15. and but no thread to go with it you know i'm going to fill another bobbin because I'm not going to be able to find it. So it's it's really nice to be able to hold it so it just pulls easily right out. Take it off. Sew with it. Let's pull this. Oh, we need a close-up. A close-up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, here. I'll go. So I, go, I put, put it down through the center, okay, of the bobbin, and then down through the spool. And there, it holds it. So it keeps you organized. I do, this will work with the regular thread too. Like, let's go here. I'll just pretend like this thread matches. So I'll grab out another one. Or grab out another one, PJ. Let's see if it. Okay. So take it, kind of squeeze it, push it in. Okay, then push it in here. And there you go. It's holding it perfect. So there. Yes, it is. It is a must-have. And that's a package of 15 of them. What are they called? Bobbin Buddies. Bobbin Buddies. Mm-hmm. Um, stitchy, stitchy Readers? Steve. Stitchy. Oh, that's, that's the glasses. Oh. <laughs> okay, and there's do? more than one. Okay. okay, so, so here, this so. one is, yes. these are really cute, and they work really good. 
Oh, oh, that's right. I have to go to the eye doctor. What time is it? Okay. I'm doing good, aren't I? It's, what time uh, is it? It's 5.13. So, see, i got to go There's to the eye doctor. a couple more things, yeah. Yeah, a couple more things. Okay, so this green package, are you sh oh, this one is, I'll tell you what size it is. This one is the two. So that's the magnification or whatever. So if you have a really hard time reading little, get the two. Okay, and that you is. You have to put them on. Hmm? You have to put them on. I have to put them on. Oh, great. Okay. There. Very when nice. I look good. <laughs> you never wear glasses, though. No. You know what? I, I was fitted with uh, one eye sees far and one eye sees close, oh. monovision. Yeah. And, and I can't switch to glasses. They tried to put me in glasses that had, or like bifocals, and my brain just couldn't, ah, couldn't make I don't the like switch. Glasses. So I couldn't see. I don't know what I'll be, do someday when I, I can't wear contacts anymore. Okay, so this pair. And I will model these for you, too. This pair. Whoop. Look at these. The, the, these are the one and a half. Okay, and look at how smart you will look. <laughs> Turn your head. There's some, something yeah. on the side. Yeah. Oh, yes. Very stylish. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are sharp, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Very sharp. So it depends on the magnification you want or whatever you'd call that. The power, the power, I guess. Oh, then this is, this is from, this is just cute. I can totally make that. How many times have you went to buy something and you just couldn't buy it because you can totally make that? So it's a zipper pouch. I can totally make that. And then on the back, so the back has like pins and needles and thread and seam rippers, all kinds of sewing notions. So on the front is I can totally make that. So cute. And it's just, it's a really nice size. Now wait a minute, there's two in a package. There's two here. Yes. So two of them, because I'm seeing two zippers. Two of them in the package, so it's a really good deal. 788. Yeah, there you go. So it's what, like three seventy-five a piece, or three, whatever, something close to that. Three ninety-five, you know. Okay, what is okay. this? What is this? Uh, that. Oh, these are great. You have to take some of these home to Chelsea. These are a miracle. Okay, you got your grocery bags, and you're piling them up, one on top of the other. But if you had this, you wouldn't have to do that. You would. Hook this around the headrest, you know, pointing towards the back of the car. And so you go in your back seat and you hang your bags. So if I... Where do you find this stuff? I, I like, that's a, what Steve says, that often I can't sleep at night. And Steve says, we're really glad that you don't sleep because I find these You're things... watching Shark Tank? Yeah. Oh, I, I do like to watch Shark Tank. I really do. Because uh, they knew, and then something that I like, I see, I, I look them up and see if I can get it, if it's something I really like. So they hook on the back of the headrest, hang down, and then you hook your shopping bags. So everybody in the whole wide world needs this. That's genius. I it want is. That. Yeah. I want a set. I want that. I, yeah, do we have very many? I don't um, know. Not anymore. No, okay. Yeah. Um, That's all right. That's all right. But yeah, this would have been a great stocking stuffer. You got to. Joni's starting to sew for next year already, so I think we all should. Okay, you missed this one yesterday. Oh yeah. Okay, this is and this cute. This is a bargain, right? Yes, it is. So it's like almost half off. So it, they're really cute. So this is called Sew Into It, and this one is the Boo Crew. So it is. It's a. a Bench pillow. Let me see. Oh, yeah, if I tilt it up a little farther, but then yeah, they can't see all... it. Maybe like that. So it is a bench pillow. Let me help you. And it is all the pattern is in there. All the fabric is already cut out for you. So the, the background fabric is in there, and you'll see all the pieces of fabric are already cut. So all you do is you follow along with the pattern, they show you how to place all the pieces. So I love it. It's an adorable pillow. Okay. okay. Boo crew. Yes. Um, and then, do you want to talk about the foot you used today? 
Is it? Oh, that's the W foot. Okay, well, okay. I can just put it in. Yeah, so just just show it. it. So that's an, you should get an extra. If you do uh, hit a needle, you, you could bend that foot. It, like Steve said, he explained that they make that foot so it will fail before. Like if you ever had a, uh, I, I'm just thinking repairs on some of the other brands that we had, it, they often had to change the whole needle bar in the machine, the whole piece. And that's because it would get bent if you hit it hard enough and broke a needle. Where on the baby lock, if you hit that foot, it will bend. It won't break the very expensive part inside the machine. It will bend. But feel yours. See if you have any needle marks on it because your thread will catch on those needle marks and will fray. So it's just good to have a spare W foot. So I think that's why he put that in there. Mm -hmm. One and comes with your machine, but it is nice to have a spare. I think that is about it. I think we did good. Yeah. Right? I mean, you have well, a couple Well, my perfect items vision, here. I didn't use that. Do the, well, the, the you perfect show vision. show real quick. Yeah, the perfect yeah. vision. This is something I can't live without. Uh, this, you know, so we were talking about... Uh, glasses with higher power this Clip um, it on the table right here okay yeah. okay so I'll click it here uh, okay stand on the left side, and, other side. <laughs> okay should I keep it uh, like I'll come over okay so here okay so if I really need to see while I'm, usually when I'm using it is when I'm snipping because I want to snip really close and I say essential with these that lights the lights or the magnifying lights like if I'm over here I can bend this right here in front of me now take a look look at how bright the light is so I'm going to turn it on look at that it's really really bright and it's magnifying so put it there so it really has nice power this comes to us from dime there were other ones out on the market that were lower and i ordered them and they were terrible this one is really good and it's just you have to have the bendable neck and it's really bright light that's what we need we need bright light when we're snipping close or ripping out i could bring it right in my lap and rip out right here and it's portable it clips onto the table and i can so clip it anywhere I need to and it's I it's like hands free I can have my both hands free to do my snipping and ripping I love this now the other one is the one that hooks on to the machine and we have ours in a drawer and this is just this is the year that's that you say I deserve it I'm getting it and this is the Come magnifying back lens up that here. hooks. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just have to click the button and I can Okay. Show. Okay. So the magnifying go. lens and it's double powered. Ruth Ann and Joni use her use theirs all the time. Maybe I'll I'll just have it where the Yeah, you can see how magnified it is. So that's with double if you only need one. But Ruth Ann says she puts a needle under here and she can read the size of the needle from this one. And it hooks onto the machine. So it will go on the um, Altair 2, the Solaris, I think Destiny. So this is a really nice gadget to have. Okay. Okay. We're good? We're good. So I am going to the eye doctor. Yeah. Yes. So you won't need your magnifying lenses. But you know lenses. what I did? I ordered contact lenses. I got them. I can't find them. So I think maybe they went out in the garbage with Christmas wrapping paper or something. So I have no contact lenses. And uh, so I have to have go to, to the eye doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he won't, he won't approve them until I come in. You, you so do, I go in tonight. You can do that online, though. Nowadays. Yeah, you can. Oh, see, they know everything. Yeah. yeah. You hold up, you do it through like a, a FaceTime call yeah. with the doctor. Yeah, that's probably why he's insisting I come in because... But he's going to check my eyes. I'm getting older. I better go. Yeah, I better, you better go. go. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. We will see you tomorrow at 1. Um, I already have a project. Uh, I, I want to show you a project that you can use your wave stitch with on the serger. So I have something in mind. It's going to be really easy, and you are going to love it. So that's tomorrow at 1 o'clock. See you then. And we'll have more bargains, right? Yeah. Today was too busy. We couldn't get them all loaded. 
Could we? No. Tomorrow, well, we, I mean, if we're busy in the store, that's wonderful. But you got to tune in every day. You never know. You never know how much we're going to have. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.